I need Harry Potter like a grindy low needs water and as Saturday approaches my need grows. Oh, I see you, Deathly Hallows and send me old book sales and bar cause it'll be like Phoenix Tears on a broken nose. On January 1, 2007, Hank and John Green began a one-year experiment to communicate with each other only through video blogs on YouTube. Good morning, John. It's Wednesday, May 28th. Good morning, Hank. It's the hottest day of the year so far, and you know what summertime means. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Good morning, Hank. Out. Hello, John. By now you will have received my message that we will no longer be communicating through any textual means. No more instant messaging, no more emailing, only video blogging. My brother, it was his idea, and about, who knows, um, like, Christmas, really, of 2006, he was like, I've got this great idea, I think that we should really do this. And I was like, okay. Um, and because he's sort of my older brother and I've always sort of been into whatever he wanted to do, I was like, yeah, uh, yeah. He saw an opportunity to become, um, to sort of surround his, I don't know, persona with, with a little bit more awesomeness. Now he's like, could we do this full time? Could I quit, could I quit writing books and we could just do this full time? And I'm like, I, you should probably keep writing books, John. That's a pretty good job. Siblinghood is something that happens when you're young, and then once you grow up, it's just like, oh, there's that person. And you always sort of picture them as um, the person you had the relationship with when you were 13. So this has been interesting to become friends with my brother as an adult, basically. I've become much more interested in YouTube since they started, but, um, I mean, I think they have one of the best things on there. I mean, it's really enjoyable. Their fans, affectionately and seriously called nerdfighters, are do-gooding nerds with a stated mission to decrease world suck. They wear things on their head and use the phrase my pants a lot, and they dance their happy dance when things are going well. A nerdfighter overarching is someone who watches John and Hank Green and is, is a fan. The official definition of a nerd fighter is someone who, instead of being made up of bones and organs on the inside, is actually made out of awesome. There's a lot of Harry Potter <laughs> fans um, in the in the nerd fighter group. My personal definition of a nerd fighter is kind of anyone who wants to be a nerd fighter and will appreciate other nerd fighters for who they are. They're nerds who want to make the world a better place. Do you think we're closer now than we were last year? John and Hank Green are not famous in the way that, say, Madonna or Britney Spears are famous, but make no mistake, they are famous. When we got featured on the front page of YouTube, and then uh, that number had extra zeros on the end of it, <laughs> um, that became a little bit, uh, that was, yeah, that was, it was more unreal than surprising. I think more and more people will be internet famous in the future. I think that's awesome. Because maybe then those people won't have to compete in the extra sick celebrity world, you know? It, it wasn't even like, <gasps> it was like, huh? You know, like, oh my, yeah, no idea sort of how to approach this, what to do with it. And since the, and probably it's been six months since that happened, we've sort of come to terms with it a little bit more. With celebrity, it's somewhat, you know, you're more exposed and less accessible. Which isn't good, I don't think. Reporting from Missoulian.com, this is Timothy Alex Akamoff. What? Tires up the sleeves of J.K. Rowling, I bet it has to do with Snape Unbreakably vowing to protect that pure blood plus face Malfoy. But in the end, I don't think it's gonna matter if Snape's good or if he's bad because the weight of the world rests on our boy. We need Harry Potter, like a grindy look, needs water, and as Saturday approaches, my need grows. I see you, deadly, how is it? Send me a book, sales, and bar, because it'll feel like Phoenix tears on a broken